Oh, I don't really work very much on, on phones. I find they're a bit of a nightmare, but um, right now I have two screens. It's just a practice one. And I thought uh, what I really need is one of those LCD separators. But um, for the amount of use I would have of it, uh, it's a bit of an expensive outlay. And all I needed really was a, a hot plate with a, a thermostat in it, which is what I have here. So the general temperature for releasing the glue on screens is around about 80. So having played with the settings on here, we've now got it up to uh, to temperature. So let's put this guy on for uh, say five or ten minutes and see what happens. In about five minutes now let's see if we have any joy. That's certainly nice and warm. Just try and get into the corner here. Yes. Yes, we have success. You can see here that the screen is separated. These S3s, the screen glass is not laminated, so it can shatter. Put this tape on there to keep the bits together. Okay. On the, on the plate there, just to keep that glue soft. Let's have another look. Get this guitar pick in the other corner. Quite apt really. I haven't got any nichrome wire, but I have, uh, courtesy, of, courtesy of my son Lily, uh, an E-string I think it is. Pop that in here. down to the bottom part here, where the cables for the home buttons, etc. As we can see, it's just all popped off. Ha -ha. So now it's a test for real, um, replacing just the, the glass on, uh, on an S4. Get it onto the hot plate. Give that 5 or 10 minutes to heat up. So now it's time to do it for real on the S4. Let's see if the, uh, the glue is melted. Just give it Ah, yes. Yeah. 
careful here. Unstick the buttons. And that has come off as clean as a whistle. Well, though I say it myself, I'm impressed with uh, my new gadget. LCD separator, a.k.a. the home iron. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe and share.